The market consists of buyers and sellers. Buyers want to pay as little as possible. Sellers want to charge as much as possible. It is the interaction between demand from buyers and supply from sellers that determine the market clearing price and the quantity sold and bought. Since buyers want to pay as little as possible, it is reasonable to assume that a greater quantity would be demanded when the price is lower. So the demand curve might look like a downward sloping curve. The vertical intercept represents the highest possible price any buyer would pay. And the horizontal intercept represent the maximum amount that would be needed even if it's free. When more is bought at lower prices, we say the quantity demanded has increased. When less is bought at higher prices, we say the quantity demanded has decreased. Since sellers want to charge as much as possible, it is reasonable to assume that a greater quantity would be supplied when the price is higher. So the supply curve might look like an upward sloping curve. When more is sold at higher prices, we say the quantity supplied has increased. When less is sold at lower prices, we say the quantity supplied has decreased. Given these supply and demand curves, the market price is determined by trial and error. If the price is set too high, the quantity supplied will exceed the quantity demanded. The resulting gap is called surplus or excess supply. This surplus will disappear as price is lowered until the quantity supplied is just equal to the quantity demanded. If the price is set too low, the quantity demanded will exceed the quantity supplied. The resulting gap is called shortage or excess demand. This shortage will disappear as price is raised until the quantity demanded is just equal to the quantity supplied. When the quantity supplied is equal to the quantity demanded, the market is said to be cleared. Given these supply and demand curves, the market will return to this position if it is temporarily disturbed so the market is also said to be in equilibrium. When more is demanded at the same price, demand rather than quantity demanded is said to have increased. After the market clears, a larger quantity is sold at a higher price when demand increases. When less is demanded 
at the same price, demand rather than quantity demanded, is said to have decreased. After the market clears, a smaller quantity is sold at a lower price when demand decreases. Under most circumstances, a change in demand is a result of changes in factors other than the own price of the good in question. For example, a change in demand may be the result of changes in consumer preferences and or consumer income. When less is supplied at the same price, supply rather than quantity supplied is said to have decreased. With demand remaining unchanged, a decrease in supply will push up price. After the market clears, a smaller quantity is sold at a higher price when supply decreases. When more is supplied at the same price, supplied rather than quantity supplied is said to have increased. With demand remaining unchanged, an increase in supply will push down price. After the market clears, a larger quantity is sold at a lower price when supply increases. Under most circumstances, a change in supply is a result of changes in factors other than the own price of the good in question. For example, a change in supply may be the result of changes in weather conditions and or cost of materials. To summarize, in a free market, interaction between supply and demand would determine market price and quantity demanded and supplied. When price is too high, surplus will occur. This surplus would disappear if price is allowed to fall. When price is too low, shortage will occur. This shortage would disappear if price is allowed to rise. <laughs>